Hey everybody in here, and if you're a hater, do not watch this video because it will make you totally lose your sh One of the first things I did today is gather just a little bit more wood so that I can cook again on my rocket stuff tonight. Next, I am burning as much trash as possible, a little bit at a time, whatever I can burn. So far, I've taken a couple of bags of trash from here. This whole thing was full. Um, I burned all that. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with these propane uh, tanks. Some of them are mine. Some of them were left here by the prior resident. Uh, this is almost flat. I've burned quite a bit out of here. There's quite a bit more to go. That is all super wet. So I'm going to see if I can get that to dry a little bit and put it in the fire. Um, you know, open up any containers so they don't explode on me. When I was pulling some trash out of this area, a big fat mouse, I don't know, it could have been a rat. I think it was a mouse because it was kind of cute, uh, went scampering off that way. So uh, this is a paramount, uh, what a, what's the word for it? This is a very important, high priority job that I've got to get done because... If there's one mouse, you can be assured that there's more. The good thing is, is I heard a cat out here the other night quarreling with something. Um, it sounded like the cat won. So I welcome cats here. I don't think Betty does, but I do. So little by little, I'm going to be getting rid of the stuff in this trash heap. Whatever I can burn, I will burn. Um, I had a couple bags of trash that had some glass bottles in it, I guess. Oh, and that uh, butane. No, not butane, propane tank. That went in the fire. Um, I didn't know the glass bottles were in there. I mean, I've just been toss tossing stuff in. So I'm trying to be a little bit more careful with what goes in here because there's some stuff that's just not going to burn. I don't want a bunch of glass at the bottom of this pit. Um, all the cans, well, you know what? I'll just let them burn as good as they can. I don't know if they'll burn completely. Um, I mean, I'll probably just package those up, put them in the trash, and haul them off myself. But there's something very renewing, very regenerating about starting a fire and tending it and adding to it and whatnot. I think this is about all I'm going to burn for today. And I need to, well, I need to, to move on to my next project. The day wouldn't be complete unless I showed you my rain barrel. It rained last night for several hours. And I had basically emptied this container and uh, watered a bunch of plants and whatnot. And let's see if you can see this. Can you see that? Can you see the fluid down in there? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of water. It is, I'd say, three quarters full. So that is a bonus. And the water looks pretty, pretty clean. And um, I've got some in that bucket too. So I need to water my plants. I need to do a lot of different stuff around here. And I just don't know what to do first. Looky here. I got, oh, me a little visitor. He's been hiking his leg up all over the place. Good thing Betty was inside. I have no idea who this pretty baby belongs to. Come on, sweet pea. Oh, my goodness. Please don't pee all over. It's going to drive Betty crazy. Come on. Very friendly little critter. What? Who do you belong to? Come on. Let's go. What are you doing? You're not paying attention to me at all. I think I've heard you howling at night. <sighs> you little sweetie. Let's go find your mommy and daddy. Well, as I was trying to find who the owner of the dog was, and I just found out, it's one of my neighbors. They just came and picked him up in their car. Um, went to the mailbox, and guess what? I got a prezi. I already opened it. Let me show you what it is. It, it was something off my Amazon wish list. So hang tight. This is champagne yeast. This yeast will make some dang strong wine. It will ferment the fruit and sugars even when the alcohol content is very high in, in the, what do you call it, the mash or whatever. Um, so I've got my five gallon stock pot. I've got this. I've got the one gallon, what do you call it, um, mason jars that I can actually ferment them in long term because I'm not going to leave them 
in the stock pot. I just put them, I just start the wine there, and then after it's doing a really good ferment, then I'll transfer them to carboys or whatever. So this is going to be great. I think my first batch is going to be apple wine, and then I'll separate it into one gallon containers, and like at least one or two of them, I'm going to add some jalapenos because apple jalapeno wine is delicious. And I have made 20% alcohol by volume wine with this yeast. Now I've got 11 packs of it, so <laughs> it's going to be wine make a time very soon, ladies and gentlemen. And I just discovered, well, I have a patron. Um, I had made a Patreon page a long time ago, and I didn't think anybody would ever care. So I just kind of, I didn't delete it. I just didn't update it, and I didn't tell anybody about it. I don't even know how this person found it. Maybe it was on one of my old videos or something, a very old video. So I've gone and kind of spruced it up a little bit. There is a link on my channel to it if you want to become a patron. There's different levels. I don't have any rewards yet. Um, so I'm going to have to think about some kind of rewards for the people. But there's different tiers, and they're kind of funny. They're silly, but um, I haven't really worked the page up. It was really just kind of a rough mock-up. So if you want to check it out, it there should be a link. I, I think there's a link in the description. I think I put it in there, but on my channel art, it's up there too. So that's another way to contribute to the channel and um, so that was a nice surprise that was a very nice surprise because I don't know I had well just I'm not even gonna talk about it um, I'm good I'm good I'm happy and I'm getting a few things done around here today so I've got another thing I gotta do and I don't wanna do it you guys I would rather do anything anything at all than have to do this task you guys are not going to believe this. You are not going to believe this. I got to turn this camera around. Look at this guy. Look. Mr. Lucas. Mr. Lucas. He is mowing my freaking weeds. Oh my God. <laughs> I love you. Oh my gosh. I just gave him a big hug and he goes, you better keep your distance. I don't want to get the virus. I did not ask him to do this. He just came over here and he's doing this. This is what I should be doing, but I don't have one of those lawn mowers. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that I am so blessed with neighbors like this. This is just absolutely phenomenal. Hang on, let me help him. What I'm doing is I'm just going around kind of following him a little bit. I'm trying to find anywhere where there's big sticks and he's pointing them out as he goes around. I'm just pulling them off to the side of the road and he is mowing my brush. Can you believe this, guys? I am blessed. Look at this. I thought he was just gonna stop down at the road but he just keeps going and going. All of this area that I was looking at in the other video has been completely mowed. I cannot freaking believe it. What did I do in this life or past life to deserve this awesomeness? Mr. Lucas is an American hero. You guys, I was just sitting here thinking, I don't know how to do this stuff. I don't have the equipment. Mr. Lucas, I heard the sound. I thought he was doing his yard, but he just rolled up on mine and he's doing mine. Not just my yard, the whole freaking area around here. I am just... <sighs> Look at this out here, you guys. Do you remember what it looks like? I don't know if I've shown you footage of how tall the brush was getting out here, but he mowed it all down. I just went and got the big sticks and logs out of the way and he just cleared this whole area so now all I have to do is go through probably get a weed whacker or something and whack all those weeds just look at this this is amazing it is just amazing I know I say that a lot amazing and oh my goodness but you know what I don't care I'm excited I'm so excited he's doing my weed whacking for me <laughs> oh my gosh just check it out. Goes. <laughs> My hero, Mr. Lucas. Gotta love him. Let's just survey everything he did. 
This looks like just a big, huge, ugly, snake infested whatever. Now it looks like a lawn. It kind of gives me an idea of what else I can do out here. <sighs> it doesn't look like a crappy field of weeds anymore. So he went all the way over here. I'm going to try and keep this as not shaky as possible. I just added sticks and whatnot to there. He went all the way almost to the stream as far as he could get his mower. He did this all over here, all the way to my gravel, all the way up the hill, in between the trees, in between the trees, all the way up to the tiny house. Just look at how beautiful this looks now. This looks like a nice, nice place now. I mean, I loved it out here before, but just look at this. It looks like I have a lawn. <sighs> he went all the way over to these trees, all the way to the tiny house. Oh, my goodness, it looks so beautiful out here. He went all the way out over here. I was sitting right by my rocket stove last night, just looking around this area. Do you remember it, you guys? Do you remember seeing it and how unruly and awful it looked? He mowed all the way over to my water catchment system. He couldn't get that because that has a bunch of wood in it. All the way out here. Look at this. All the way over to my junk piles. <laughs> He's just... I know I'm moving this camera too fast. I'm so sorry, you guys. I will learn how to film one of these days. I'm going to get good at this, I promise. Right now, I am just... Whew. Look at my property. Would you just look at it? It is so beautiful out here. I know who to thank for this. I, I mean, of course, Mr. Lucas, but... What did I do to deserve this kind of kindness? I don't know. I don't think I, I, I am not worthy. I could tell you right now. I am not worthy of all of this. Just look. Look at how beautiful it looks out there. I'll tell you what. I am blessed beyond belief. Blessed. Blessed. Alrighty, I'm just going to go chill. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I need to go to the store. I'm not going to go to the store tonight. I'm going to go to the store tomorrow and I'm going to get, I'm going to get Mr. Lucas his favorite beverage. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and y'all have a good one.